Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2019 or Pokemon Journeys the series anime video. In this video I want to talk about the Masters Tournament because a lot of new details about the tournament have been revealed courtesy of a special preview that aired after episode 114 of Pokemon Journeys. The preview for episode 115 also aired alongside episode 114, providing even more information about the tournament in the process. I was not planning to cover the preview for episode 115 since I have covered this episode plenty already, but the preview did reveal just enough to warrant a preview discussion. And then there is the special preview as well, which I did not expect at all since there have been so many special previews recently. But I guess that because Pokemon Journeys is on its way to its epic conclusion, they are making sure to build up as much hype as possible and they have succeeded thus far. I debated whether to make two separate videos, one for each preview, or to just make one video for both. In the end, I opted for the latter, since it makes for a better, more complete video that has all the information. Now I have covered the Master 8 and the tournament extensively already, so there will be links in the description below and at the end of this video to my previous videos covering the subject. So let's get to the previews now, shall we? Now the main thing that the special preview revealed, or rather the one thing that it revealed, was the first round matchups of the tournament, which have been the subject of much speculation. I myself dedicated most of my previous video on the Masters Tournament to predicting the matchups the best that I could, based on what the previous special preview showed. For the most part, my predictions were on point, since I did say that Ash, Alon, Diantha and Cynthia would face Iris, Lance, Steven and Leon. Not in this order, but these are just two sides of the conflict. And it turns out that this is the case. As for the specific matchups, I was able to guess a few of them correctly, so let's get to them now. First up is Leon vs Alon. This will be the first battle and it will happen in episode 115, so the preview for this episode does show a little of this battle. Now the tournament will officially begin in episode 115, and right after the opening ceremony, the first battle will happen right away, so they are not wasting any time. This also means that there won't be any exhibition matches like I mentioned in the previous video on this subject. Now the previous special preview showed Mega Charizard X avoiding what looked like Draco Meteor, but it turns out that this is ancient power, which is something that someone noted in a comment on my last video on the tournament, so good on you for calling this. Leon's Charizard is the one that uses ancient power. Since I thought that this was Draco Meteor, I believed that Alon was facing Cynthia, whose Garchomp uses Draco Meteor in the previous special preview. But nope, Alon will face Leon. Now this matchup was actually leaked a couple of days ago, before the release of this special preview, but I did not cover this leak since I did not think that it was trustworthy. In the end though, it did prove to be accurate, but not completely, since the leak suggested that Leon vs Alon would take place in an episode called The Strongest Charizard Battle, or something to this effect, which is not the case, though I can see why something like this would be believable. Still, while this is not the actual title of the episode, it is an apt description of it, since the two Charizard will clash, though it won't be a full power clash, since while Alon's Charizard will Mega Evolve, Leon's Charizard will not Gigantamax, which is unfortunate. For a long time now I have wanted it to see Gigantamax Charizard versus one of the Mega Charizard, and it seems that I will have to keep waiting. Instead of Gigantamaxing Charizard, Leon will instead Gigantamax Rillaboom. A Gigantamax Rillaboom was shown in the previous special preview. It was clear that this was Leon's Rillaboom, but this was confirmed by these latest previews. Rillaboom is seen battling Alon's Chestnut, which is a Pokemon Alon did not use before. I guess that after spending so much time with Chespi, Alon decided to get his own Chespin, which has since evolved twice. It is cool that both Alon and Leon will battle each other using not only a Charizard each, but also using the fully evolved Grass-type starter of their generation slash region. Also since the battles will be 3 on 3, Leon and Alon will use a third Pokemon that is currently a mystery. 
In any case, this should be an amazing battle and a great start to the tournament. As for who will win, well, Alon is strong for sure, but he will not defeat Leon, since Leon needs to make it to the final round to face Ash. This of course means that sadly, we likely will not get to see a rematch between Ash and Alon. Moving on, the second matchup is Lance vs Diantha. Now this is one that I did predict, since a Dragonite was shown facing Mega Gardevoir in the previous special preview. I did say that this Dragonite could belong to Ash, Iris or Lance, but given the rest of the evidence, I said that this was most likely Lance or Iris's Dragonite. And it turns out that it is Lance's Dragonite. Now Lance vs Diantha will be the second battle of the tournament, and it will happen soon after Leon vs Alon, since episode 116 was recently revealed, and the title of this episode is Champion's Pride, Lance vs Diantha. So they are definitely not wasting time. The tournament will begin and the battles will seemingly happen one after the other. Though episode 116 will air on July 8th, since the anime will take a two week break after episode 115 meaning that we will have to wait a bit for the second battle. But once the anime returns, I guess that the battles will happen right after the other. League conference arcs in the past would run continuously until they ended, so I don't see why the Masters Tournament would be any different. As for the Pokemon Lance and Diantha will use, the previous special preview made it clear that Lance will use Gyarados and Dragonite, while Diantha will use Gardevoir. The latest special preview shows that Lance will also use a Hydreigon, while Diantha will use an Aurorus as well. This means that Lance's full lineup for this battle is known, while Diantha still has one unknown Pokemon. But considering that she does use an Aurorus in the games, her third Pokemon will likely be another Pokemon she uses in the games. So Tyrantrum, Gorgeist, Gudra or Halucha, with the first two being the likeliest in my opinion. Tyrantrum would be great, so that Diantha can battle Lance using a dragon of her own. As for who will win this battle, well, it is difficult to say, since Lance and Diantha are both very strong. However, the one that wins will go on to face Leon in the next round, and we already saw Lance battle Leon, so for variety's sake, Diantha might win. Also, she does have the advantage against Lance since her main Pokemon, Gardevoir, does have a type advantage over Dragon-type Pokemon. High Dragon especially has a double weakness to Fairy, so perhaps Diantha will win. Also, I do want to point out that Lance will Dynamax one of his Pokemon, likely Gyarados for the battle, likely in response to the fact that Diantha will Mega Evolve Gardevoir. In fact, since Dragonite is seen battling Mega Gardevoir, Dragonite might be defeated, and Lance's final Pokemon will be Gyarados, who will go on to Dynamax in order to face Mega Gardevoir. So next is the third matchup, which is Cynthia vs Iris. This is one that I did not predict at all, mainly because the previous special preview showed Iris battling in the rain, so I was focused on figuring out who could call for rain during the battle. Well, the latest special preview reveals that Cynthia will use her Milotic, who is likely the one that summons the rain. Cynthia does use Milotic in the games, but she has never used it in the anime before, which is why I did not consider this. This latest preview does reveal that Cynthia will indeed Mega Evolve Garchomp, which is very exciting. This is something that was rumored, and I did say based on the previous special preview that this could happen so I am not too surprised. Also, her keystone is the lipstick she uses in the previous special preview, just like I thought. So yeah, Cynthia will use Garchomp, Mega Garchomp to be exact, and Milotic. Her third Pokemon is unknown, but there are of course several candidates. Maybe she will use Komoo to make this more of a battle of dragons. As for Iris, well, the preview only shows her using Haxorus who is seen battling both Mega Garchomp and Milotic. Therefore, Iris has two other Pokemon she will use. Maybe she will reveal a new Dragon-type Pokemon, or she will use Excadrill. It would be cool if she reveals that her Gimel is now a Garchomp, and we get to see a Garchomp vs Garchomp battle. 
Also, judging by the preview, Iris does not have an ultimate technique slash transformation, so she will have to face Mega Garchomp with Gods alone. This should be an amazing battle and it will also be the third battle we will see. As for who will win, well, like with the previous matchup, it is difficult to say, since we are talking about the two very strong trainers, and there isn't any plot-related reason why any of them should win or lose. But my money is on Cynthia, considering that she has always been the epitome of power, and we have never seen her lose. Also, she has Mega Evolution on her side, and whoever wins this matchup will go on to face Ash. It would be a waste not to have Ash face Cynthia, especially since Ash already battled and defeated Iris. Plus, I am sure that more people want to see Ash battle Cynthia than see Ash battle Iris again. Next up is the fourth matchup, which is of course Ash vs. Steven. This is the one matchup that was clear as day in the previous special preview, so no surprises here. It was also crystal clear back then that Ash would use Pikachu, while Steven would use Metagross. As for their other Pokemon, the latest special preview shows that Ash will use Gengar, which is not surprising, given what happened in episode 114. Steven, on the other hand, will also use a Cray Dilly, which is a Pokemon that he uses in the games. So they each have another Pokemon that they can use that is currently unknown. Now while Steven will Mega Evolve Metagross, it is unknown what ultimate techniques slash transformation Ash will use for this battle, but since he will use Gengar and Pikachu, he will either Gigantamax Gengar or Pikachu will use 10 million Bolt Thunderbolt. The previous special preview does show Ash Gigantamaxing slash Dynamaxing someone, so I guess that he will Gigantamax Gengar to face Mega Metagross. Also because of what happened in episode 114, I guess that Charizard, Infernape and Pignite are cheering for Gengar here in this scene shown in the previous special preview. In any case, this should be an awesome battle and it will be the final battle of the first round. As for who will win, well, Ash will win of course, since he has to face Leon in the finals. Besides, Ash defeated Wallace, who said that he is equal to Steven. So these are the matchups. Assuming that the winners are the ones I mentioned, then the second round will be Leon vs Diantha and Ash vs Cynthia. The final matchup will of course then be Leon vs Ash. While it is unfortunate that Ash will not get to battle everyone in the Masters 8, at least we will get to see all of them battle, so we will still get some very cool battles and some epic matchups. Also, I do want to say that the champion themes are some of the best music the Pokemon games have to offer. Therefore, with so many champions in play, I hope that the Masters Tournament will enhance each champion's moments of glory by leveraging the power of each of their respective themes. These OSTs will surely elevate the epic battles we will witness. Finally, I do wanted to say that the preview for episode 115 does show that Hop will battle Ash. This will surely be a quick and unexciting battle, but it should still be fun. But yeah, that's everything I have for you in this video. The Masters Tournament will definitely be amazing and I really cannot wait to watch every single battle of the tournament, starting with Leon vs Alon, which will happen in episode 115, which will air on June 17. I will of course upload video reviews for every single episode of the Masters Tournament so please look forward to them. But that's the video, as always. Leave your own thoughts down in the comments below, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and would like to see more like it, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I love Pokemon and I love making videos on both the anime and the games. Also, please consider clicking the links on screen so that you can check out more videos like this right away. Thank you very much for watching and let's meet again in the next video.